let's move to the next board here. which is the BGP weight attribute. So first thing first, we are done with the next hop now. And I made a mistake here. This is not R1, guys. This is R2. Okay. So what is happening here? We are interested in learning another attribute. And this is basically Cisco specific attribute. It means that if you are running BGP on Juniper, you are not going to see whatever we are going to learn here in this board. But that is okay. But I have seen the weight attribute has been used by many customers who are using Cisco. And what is the meaning of it? The meaning is, before understanding the meaning, just try to understand that we have a router R1 here, which is pairing with two other routers, R2 and R3, over the BGP. And if I write only BGP, it could be IBGP or it could be EBGP, right? And if you are thinking that, Mr. Vishnu, I don't know why you write these few things which are very difficult to read here, right? Why do you write all these things? So guys, actually this is for me. This is not for you. So whenever I, te whenever I teach a topic, I think that I should not forget uh, the important things. And those are the important or the bullet points I would like to cover here, right? So if it's not visible to you, it, if, if the font size is small, that is fine. That is not for you. That is for me, right? So do not worry about the red color text which you see on the right top side. So now the topology is very, very simple. And what we are doing here is we have one single route here, which is connected to both the routers, R2 as well as R3. And what R2 is doing, R2 is advertising this route into the BGP here. And R3 is also advertising this route into the BGP neighborship towards R1 here. It is as simple as that. It means that if I go and check R1's routing table, specifically the BGP routes, it will going to showcase me this one, that route number 192.168.13.0 slash 24 is reachable via R2. And another route, which is again, same thing, 192.168.13.0 13.0 slash 24 can also be reached via R3. It is as simple as that. Now we have two routes in R1 routing table and we need to find a best route. Suppose the first thing first, BGP will do the next hop check. This is going to be always for every route. In case of this route number one, BGP is going to check whether the next hop, which is R2, is reachable or not from R1, which it is going to be. It is the directly connected network. And if I am receiving the route over the directly connected network, it means that I can reach from R1 to R2. So in terms of next hop, there is no problem in installing this route into the routing table. And the second thing is, the second route also can reach to R3. So BGP is good with respect to next hop attribute. We just learned that if next stop attribute is not reachable, this route is not going to be installed. But now we have two similar routes. And if I want to identify one best of them, which one is going to be? Or maybe that there is a scenario. Suppose we have Mr. Prashant Patilji here, which is the owner of this network. And Mr. Prashant Patil says to his network engineer that Mr. Network Engineer, I want my traffic, all the traffic which is leaving from R1 towards 192.168.13.0, it should always go via R2. If R2 is not there, right, then basically I will be forwarding this traffic over R3 if this link goes down. Okay. So this is the requirement here too which Mr. Prashant Patil is informing or uh, uh, giving to your, to his network engineer. 
interesting. Now this network engineer is thinking that how to do that. Because right now you are considering only one route, but try to think it can be possible that these are two different service providers and they are advertising the same range of internet routes. Maybe those routes are one lakhs of routes. One lakh route from here one leg route from here and you need to identify the best route right and you need to go always from the r2 it is as simple as that right so there is a mechanism for this when you receive this route over r2 into the routing table or this r1 router you can define a number along with that route interesting right so mr network engineer who was here he was thinking aloud and here he is saying that whenever i am receiving a route from r2 i am give i will give it a number okay so this is the route which mr network engineer received over r1 and he has assigned a number maybe say number 500 and by the way guys this number was not advertised by r2 no actually this number when you receive a route and you can do how to do that how to give this number it's a totally different thing it's a very very easy command to do that but first thing first try to understand how we can define this number and what is the significance of this number so when i receive a route when r1 receives a route this network engineer has informed Mr. R1 that whenever you receive this route over the BGP, just assign it a number, right? And by default, also BGP defines a number. For example, it is running a route from R3, then R1 BGP process, it is going to assign this number, right, to this route also. And by default, this number is zero. The more this number, the better the route for BGP. It means that BGP will prefer a route which is having this number, which is having which is having this number. I mean, if you compare both of them, first route is going to have first route is having number five hundred. The second route is having zero number. Which one is larger? The larger is five hundred right and then this number the higher the better bgp prefer the route within this number which is higher as compared to the other one so by default this number is zero but you have changed this number is a 500 on router number r1 and that is why bgp is going to select this route as the best route and it will put as this greater than symbol here interesting right and this route is not going to be the best path. And if this is the best path, the, the one, then Mr. Prashant Patel problem is solved. You are going like this. It is as simple as that. But if sometime this link goes down, then of course you are not going to receive this route. And if this route is not there, then of course the bottom path is available and you can go like this. The reason of doing this could be anything. Maybe this link has higher bandwidth. This service provider is a good service provider as compared to this one. So you want to use this as a primary, this as a secondary, and that is why you are using this number. And by the way, guys, we call this number as weight. If BGP receives this any route from outside, maybe IBGP or EBGP, it is going to give this number as the zero. By default, if you do not do that, all both of these numbers are going to be zero and you cannot define, you cannot identify or select the best path on the basis of this number because both of them are zero. But if you want to, then you can create, you can define this number when you receive the route. It is as simple as that. So first thing first, BGP is going to check the next stop. If next stop is there, then it's fine. It is going to install this route. The second thing, if it finds the two routes are similar, the same, it is going to check the weight and if it finds the weight 
a little bit higher as compared to other route it is going to select that route as the best route because here we have the number 500 why number 500 it could be any number greater than zero but maybe i love 500 or maybe this network engineer love 500 and that is why it is giving it the 500 number it is as simple as that the important thing to note here is guys that this weight attribute whatever you we have just defined is local to this r1 and what is the meaning the meaning is when we receive the route you have the full liberty to configure the weight attribute on this specific network right and interestingly suppose this r1 is connected to another router maybe r10 and it is advertising this route the best route which you have 192.168.13.0 believe me this weight attribute is not going to be updated in the update message means the weight attribute is actually local on to this router if i say that can i send this to another router no bgp cannot take this attribute to other routes routers and this is the property of this one so this is very very specific to a particular router this is a specific cisco attribute you do not find this attribute in other implementation like juniper maybe arista or any other vendor it is as simple as that okay but what about if 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 i am on the r1 and i am having this loopback interface one dot maybe one dot one dot one dot zero and if i advertise this out into bgp what is the weight of this guy so by default the range for the weight is from zero to 65 535 the higher the better right and for such routes which are locally originated in the bgp on this router B, bgp assign the weight as 32768 which is the number exactly in middle between 0 and 65535 as simple as that right so if a route is locally originated on my router we have to assign it a weight number then the weight number is 32768 but and it should be because i want to choose a high high number for the route which are originating means i am uh, originating into the bgp and everybody is going to be 32768 so we are not define deciding the best path on the basis of weight but yes i can configure if some some route is coming to me if i want to choose this path as a better that i will put a path sorry weight on this specific route which i'm receiving over this link it is as simple as that weight is really really simple attribute it is a local to the network local to the router it is not going anywhere from your router and that is why whatever you do it will be locally to this router this router understand that if i want to go out i need to go out via r2 it cannot influence r10 to follow the same path because it is not sending this weight attribute to r10 it is as simple as that having said that please ask question mr burak what is the question here okay thank you Ishna. Mm -hmm. uh, i think it is better uh, to us to, to describe uh, of these attributes uh, how they are uh, going to affect the uh, direction of the traffic yeah yeah so basically uh -huh. if you see here whatever the route i am getting and that is why i again and again draw okay if you are receiving a route the traffic direction which you are affecting is this direction right so you can understand what weight is affecting when you get a route you assign a weight to it right and basically that is why it is affecting the traffic which is going out from you only you right and we are i will be definitely define this traffic path in other uh, attributes also 
So the problem yes, with yeah, yeah, the, yeah, the problem mm -hmm. here is that basically R1 is actually R1 is actually have this attribute local to it. It cannot advertise it to anybody else. But do we have any such attribute which does not have such restriction? And yes, absolutely we have that.